Hello everyone, Invader Alex08 here today to show you how to transmit an FM signal from your GPIO pins on your Raspberry Pi. The audio file can be a recording that you have already made, actually. So I will show you how to do that. You want to open up Audacity and basically record something with your microphone, whatever it may be. And then, if I were you, I would suggest saving it as a... As this hurts, this one, this one, and then maybe that one, just to see which one works the best. Because I noticed on mine, a couple times, this was this made the pitch too high and it played really fast, whereas these ones played way too low and made the pitch really low. So I <clears throat> saved a music track and found out that this frequency played perfect. But a voice track, I realize, is different. So I'm going to see which one it is here. So save it as a few, and then it might be different with your Raspberry Pi. Alright, so now we have everything plugged into our Raspberry Pi that should be. Let me just set that in there. Close it up. Alright. And now... Get ready and plug our uh, USB that we saved the, the f song file to. I have tried the multiple ways right here. This one is very high pitched. This one is normal, and this one is very low pitched. I realize. So let's try, let me show you. Um, yeah, the Star Wars dot wav is um, this frequency right here. But I noticed when I saved other media files at that frequency, it was very low. Other uh, music files. So apparently music needs to be a lower frequency and the voice needs to be a higher. I don't know. But let me show you what I got. Turn it up. Um, Alright, we're doing the lowest frequency. Alright, hello YouTube. Invader Alex Away here broadcasting on... FM channel right now from my Raspberry Pi. Pretty cool. Alright. So, that was that one. Alright, this is the normal frequency. The 22050. Alright, hello YouTube. Invader Alex so Away here broadcasting on an FM channel right now from my Raspberry Pi. Pretty cool. Alright. Now let's try the uh, the other frequency that made it very, very low. Alright, and that was the number 32,000. Zero, 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 and delete the extras. Okay, now play it. So yeah, that's the deal there. Now, one thing I can't figure out, I tried S I was going to SSH into this, but I tried to use this adapter here and when I plugged it in, it killed it. It like just shut off. The screen went blank, it restarted and it kept restarting. It went in like a restart loop. So I don't know if this was drawing too many volts, amps, or whatever it is. Um, and then I tried unplugging all of the all the USBs and everything else, and then just plugging this in, and nothing else, and it still killed it. So if you think you have a solution to why that might be doing that, whether it's the I need more amps or volts, it is a five volt um, cable with one amp. And I've heard this uses either 500 milliamps or 700 at idle. I don't know which one it is. But apparently that uh, Wi-Fi adapter is just too much for it. So if anyone has any uh, solutions to that, that'd be great. I was also wondering what these little uh, these 
two round holes are. You got this one here, and then you got the one right here. Is that for, like, a mount? So you can put, like, screws in there and then screw it to a mechanical machine or something that you build. It's like a mobile, a mobile thing. 